Okay, this is an updated video for my uh, random wire slash slinky antenna. I can't remember if I mentioned in the last video or not, but I had to take the slinky down inside because uh, the screws um, pulled right out of the wall and I didn't want to mess with that anymore. So, I came up with the idea. So, you know, here's the wire running through the window here and it goes up here now I made some adjustments it goes over he oops over here but now I got the slinky outside here so I got the um I got the wire running through it twice and now I got making this like uh don't know if you can see it I can barely see it on the video here but I got the wires crisscrossing -cross making an X here on the roof of the porch so I'm hoping that well it does improve reception um, that's what it looks like on the inside okay here's the uh, side of the Grundig where I got my wire antenna plugged in obviously the, the fin wire here which is uh, 22 gauge that's the antenna um, I don't know if you can see it or not but there's this um, thicker wire here I think that's uh, I want to say maybe like 18 gauge. I'm not 100% sure, but uh, that's my uh, my ground wire. That one I got basically running behind the bookshelf and stuff. It goes through here in my uh, in my um, closet, and then it ends down here. And I got um, an alligator clip on the end um, to complete the ground. It works. All right. Um, the bands, um, you know, the from like um, three to five megahertz. Um, they're still kind of noisy, but uh, five megahertz on up, it's uh, quieter. Um, so if anybody has some suggestions, what I could do with my ground wire, how to improve it, or if that's as good as I'm going to get for, you know, indoor use. Um, I have another um, another radio on some suggestions with that's but that's going to be a separate video so let me let me stop this one and then I'll start fresh with the other one